What's up guys, welcome back to Jump Behind the Sin. Today will be Full Moon Friday. I'm gonna be going in with Full Moon from Oz Shaving. I hope the uh, artisan, I forget his name, but I hope he's well. Um, he hasn't responded to any of my emails. I believe his site's down at the moment, but I hope he is well. I believe his name's Ian. Um, but on the other hand, we have a very nice label, side label. Very nice soap here. It'd be a shame if something had happened to him. I hope he's good. But we're going with full moon today. Razor of choice <clears throat> will be the Feather Popular. It is a tinny, plasticky razor. Does butterfly open on the top? Got a 365 Gillette in it from Flash Bortle over across the pond. Hope you're well, Flash. And Flash, while I'm on the subject, thank you very much for taking your time to write all the origins these blades are from manufactured. That's dedication. That's a true, true wet shaving hobbyist, hobbyist there. I'd just like to point that out that I really appreciated that. So we're going with that razor. The 365 from India, first use, last use. That in the trash. Brush whipping up the soap. This morning will be the AP Shape Co. Um, don't know what they call this handle, but it's the Silk Smoke Knot. Super soft, really well knot. I love this knot and I love how the yellow just fades out to nothing on that one side. It's a really cool, unique knot. Check them out on Etsy. That's where I got that one. I think it was 20 bucks shipped, something like that. Um, before I started the camera, I applied the Altsenbrook pre and after, pre and post shave. Just a little sample of it. I believe I got from Westcape Shaving because they're so generous to send out samples of different things. I have one more thing, two more things to show you guys before the shave. This has nothing to do, neither one of these things, next two things has anything to do with wet shaving, but I'm proud of them. And here, here we have, no, I did not murder anyone. <laughs> here we have uh, the Scream, I believe it's Scream 4. This was a clean knife when I got it. It is plastic, it's not real. So it's Comic-Con safe. It's got blood all over the handle. It's got weathering and blood on the pommel. really nice. I think I did a really good job on it. Yeah, so let me lay that down. And next, for the bourbon lovers and decanter collectors, some of you long time subscribers may remember this skull to hold a fifth I believe actually I know it will get the skull on Amazon at least I think you still can and yeah we have larceny in there one of my favorite if not my favorite budget friendly bourbons are is larceny so I'm drinking it for a while my uh, brush soaker is the Deadpool. Little collector's glasses I got from 
loot crate. So let's get into the shave. I did not post yesterday. I hope you guys forgive me. <clears throat> I woke up super late. <clears throat> this wasn't, and it was way too late to post. It was way too late to even make a video, so. The soap lathers up very easily. If you're uh, puck lathering, which I prefer. I'm just overloading it right now. Pretty sure this is a tallow based soap. So, it's a face shave. So. I immediately get the fur. I have the description here I'm about to read to you guys, who, those of you that are still watching. <laughs> um, the fur from the counter fur comes out immediately. And you can tell there's other stuff mixed in with it. One moment. Um, I really do appreciate this scent. So here's the description of this beautiful scent. Obviously Oz shaving, full moon shaving soap, four ounces. It's going right now on the shaving, the razor company for $13.99 plus shipping. Probably going other places as well, but no, it was Pastors. It wasn't the razor company. Correction, Pastors. Full moon is back. I mean, this description is probably two years old. Because he did not make it this year, obviously. But this soap proved to be one of the most popular. <clears throat> the idea behind the scent was a cold, dark night in the forest with a fire to keep warm. A howl in the distance and the smell of damp, matted fur. This sudden flash of gunpowder as a creature pounces, illuminating now only by the flames, and then it devours its kill. The scent notes are amber, fresh dirt, campfire, gunpowder, fur, pine, with hints of matted fur, and the rusty iron of blood. And first time I read that, I was like, huh? I gotta try that. <laughs> but you don't really get much of the iron in the blood note. But you can tell there's something in the background and I believe that's what it is, but you don't pick it up like right off the top or anything. Like I said, it's a pine fir forward extremely nice cushiony base slick um the matted fur doesn't come out to my nose it's just cool to me that it's in there some of these notes and these soaps you guys don't come out till <clears throat> possibly the middle of the puck or the end. Um, especially in these very complex scents like this one. Well, it's not very complex, but it's complex. Anything with five or more notes is complex for me. So, but yeah, it's a really nice pine fur with something going on in the background. Strength, I give it a six. <clears throat> it's 
why? Because as soon as I started lathering it, it hit me in the face. Not in a strong way, but I could smell it as soon as I started lathering the puck. So, some soaps, you can't even smell it if you get them on your face. I tend to stay away from those soaps. But, yeah, this one's really nice if you like what I described. Um, first pass with the grain, feather popular. 365 Gillette. It's like a $20 razor, 20 something on Amazon's where I got this a couple years ago, a few years ago. I do not use it much. Not because it's bad, because it's cutting down very easily. It's meant to be used with a feather blade, which it comes with one single feather blade. So, sorry, something has stopped up my sink and I can't figure out what it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, this 365 is melting through like butter. Blade fill. On a scale of uh, one being no feeling to ten being the worst or the most feeling, I'd give this a two, maybe a three. It's really no feeling at all. But you can tell the blades in there. About a four inch handle on that. <clears throat> it's not toy light like some other razors. It's not heavy, but it is top heavy because that's where most of the metal is, is in the doors. Well, that's where all the metal is, but. I'd do a head shave with this razor, I'd definitely have to use a feather or a kai. But this blade feels really comfortable right now on the face. I believe I've got two to three days of growth. Beans already, guys. I uh, haven't heard what's up. Uh, the guy I heard about this company from Spider. Um, I haven't seen a video from him and. <laughs> since last Halloween so he'd be the first to know because uh, he has quite a few of his soaps I really want to know what's going on he, his main line obviously Oz shaving is a, a Wizard of Oz line that he's created but he does do Halloween seasonals. He may do other seasonals, but I don't know about them. Because this year I was looking to get 40 crows. I can't even think of what scent notes is in 40 crows, but... 
I was looking forward to getting it. I've got some more discounts and affiliate links in the description. If anybody wants to check them out, they'll be there. I've got like three new ones in the last day, two or three days, a uh, day or two, so check them out. If you're interested. <laughs> Rest of this. I do have the matching splash for this. I'm glad I picked it up when I could. Just a really smooth entry level shape. Especially with this blade, it's so smooth. So yeah, Pastors is offering this for $13.99. So, I don't know how many of that have in stock, but if you like pine and conifer, highly recommend this thing. Really. Not sure if they have the splash or not, but grab coniferous from um, Sterling. That'll be a good match for it. A lot of good ingredients in his products. Alright, we rinse. <clears throat> and then we'll get to the post.
hope everybody's well, having great shaves, doing fun stuff, and all that. Lancaster, the old Cahaba shave club towel as usual. Uh, shaving. Full moon splash. The splash is incredible. The ingredients. Small, uh, splash a small amount onto your entire, f onto your face after shaving for a refreshing feeling made and bottled in Overland Park, Kansas. Alcohol, aloe leaf juice, witch hazel, glycerin fragrance, calamine extract, sodium lactate, and allatoin. Something like that, I don't know. I tried, probably butchered it. It's nice. It's got the conifer, pine, but like I said, it's got something else. In the background, the iron is really in the splash. It's really nice too. Um, and the gunpowder, campfire. You get the campfire and the soap as well. Highly, highly recommend it. If you can pick it up, go for it. It's great. So that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, forgot the alum stick as usual, but I had it right there beside the splash too. I was just too gun ho on getting the splash on it because I know how good this splash is. That's like my goatee ornament. I'm digging it. I'm gonna try to guys uh, I may be back on tomorrow for a head shave but I'll definitely have a video for Sunday so stay tuned for that and like share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber like the video share it all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Monday peace